Morning, folks. It's Roy from A Geek's Adventures. Woohoo! Reporting to you from Studio B. Kind of early, actually, in the in the uh, in the town home in Clinton in the Clintonville section of Columbus, Ohio. So why am I up so bloody early in the morning? Um, I, my body clock's really kind of stupid. So this is what happens. <laughs> um, all oh, and number two. It's Comic Con weekend, yeah, baby! Woo! It's geeks. It's Christmas for geeks. Yay! Okay, technically, I think New York City Comic Con is the same size, if not a little bit bigger, in the U.S. Um, if you do some searches, of course, there are some other bigger cons, yada, yada, yada. But it's San Diego Comic-Con, Hall H, and it's Saturday! You know what that means! The super the movie business goes, all right, well, other superhero movies are coming out, wah, 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 wah. Anyway, um... The other reason, I mean, right now you're looking at the internet, and you know you go to you go to every movie geek website, and just you know five tons of junk out there. So I'm I'm not even going to pretend to try and do any kind of you know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and go over stuff as much as I can um, over the weekend, but specifically just stuff that kind of just makes me go. Woo! So be afraid and be prepared for lots of squeeing. Um, specific, especially, and I want to do actually get up and do this this morning because, like I said, this is Saturday. That means Hall H is going to be going nuts all day long. Um, but the the big thing I wanted to bring up is, um, in the last like forty eight hours or so, I, I think the entire movie industry just went, um, because two reports, um, one. Okay, so The Mummy comes out. It was going to be the beginning of Universal's dark monster universe tent pole thing with with um, with Tom Cruise, ma ma ma, and that just kind of went wah wah wah. Well, okay, not that bad, but not what they had hoped. <laughs> Um, you know, let, let's, let's be honest here, you know, you, we, we can talk smack, you know, everybody's been talking smack about the DC Extended Universe, but at least, at least they get paid. <laughs> uh, the Mummy, eh, it didn't crash, and it did not, at least it didn't crash and burn like, uh, you know, Lone Ranger, <laughs> uh, you get the idea. Um, but nonetheless, you know, went from being the, see, see, we have our tent pole too. Oh, hell, what are we going to do now? <clears throat> so apparently reports are floating around that um, as Channing Tatum is working on his Gambit movie and bless his heart, he's going, I'm going to get it made. I'm going to get it made. I'm going to get it made. Dude, man, clock's kind of ticking, man. <laughs> um, meanwhile, <laughs> apparently assorted sites are reporting that um, they're looking at him to do a reboot reboot or is it a re-reboot or reboot squared or whatever you want to call it of the dark universe with him as van helsing now the thing is that sounds kind of cool um uh, and i and i know some of you still remember the 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 hugh jackman movie with van helsing uh, as van helsing i liked the idea portions of the movie were kind of cool other por this is what I thought of the movie in the end. I fell asleep. But that's a rant for another time. Hugh, I loved you, man. It wasn't your fault. Um, Kate Beckinsale, you were stuck in this movie. It, 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 I, I, anyway, like I said, that's a rant for another time. Um, hey, put it in comments if you want to know what the rant is. Anyway, um, but... So... You know, you go through all this, you you know, you spend, you know, a quarter billion, actually, literally, a, you, you spent with marketing $250 million on this movie with Tom Cruise in it, and yeah, 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 and now going, oh boy, what do we do now? <laughs> and Channing Tatum pops up, and it's like, uh, and the thing is, I mean, Tom Cruise, uh, uh, He's an action, you know, actually, he has kind of turned into an action star, you know, so that kind of made sense. I mean, Channing Tatum, I, I love his work, but why is he the perfect, I mean, in, in some ways it makes sense. I, I, let me rephrase this. The fact that you want to use Van Helsing to reboot this whole horror movie series sounds kind of cool. 
Um, but Channing Tatum, that sounds so flavor of the moment. Um, you know, uh, you know, if you really want, uh, 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 you know, really, guys. <laughs> um, the other bit of news, which probably made Ben Affleck go. You guys really don't know what you're doing, do you? Um, apparently, word is is that at a certain point, they don't want Ben Affleck to keep doing Batman. And apparently, the big deal is the fact that he's 45 and everyone's 10 years younger. Um, number one, if you're going to really beat to death the idea of the entire Hollywood machine, which it does, basically, if you're a woman, um, once you hit 35, you're old, you don't get a job anymore which hopefully now is going to start to change. Probably not, but hope springs eternal. Um, really? You're going to release Justice League. You're talking about, finally, you find Matt Reeves to direct the, the, the Batman movie that, because marketing people insist you, you got to do Batman and beat it to death like the action figures. And now you're talking about, well, you know, he's too old. Let's put in somebody younger. Now, I'm of two minds of this, because the thing is, is that, on the one hand, for Batman Beyond, um, that was a wonderful dynamic. Old, grumpy, ticked-off Batman dealing with younger Terry. And I know there's a bunch of you going, what, what, what's Batman Beyond? Go Google. <clears throat> talk to Batman, ba talk to uh, DC animated fans. If you do, we may not shut up for four hours. Okay, just warning you, but... The dynamic could work. But on the other hand, it's a continued sign of how really kind of haphazard this whole plan is for DC. For the DC Warner Brothers blah, blah, blah thing. It's like, now you're bringing this up? <laughs> now? You know, for once, for once, there is some sense of stability and hope in the DC movie universe because of Wonder Woman. For once, it's like, okay, you know, Justice League, the, the clips still look cool i mean it, you know eh, you know aquaman's coming out okay everything else is kind of a giant mess and you know as usual you don't know what you're doing and now all of a sudden wait a minute the one guy that people consistently liked from batman v superman and you're thinking about getting rid of him really um, you know, like I said, the dynamic could be fun. I mean, you know, him playing a Nick Fury type role, you introduce a younger Batman. And, eh. But, guys, really? Um, you know, both these situations, I mean, they're, they're, uh, the argument could be made that this is a sign that Kevin Feige deserves a lot more money. <laughs> um, you know what? As much money as you pay Robert Downey Jr., justifiably so, considering how much money the movies he's in are making. You need to give Kevin Feige a raise, um, a big raise, because as all this is flying apart all over the place, you know, I mean, you know, who know, who knows if Transformers is still a viable tentpole, blah, 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 you know, oh, and, and between him and Kathleen Kennedy for, for, for running Star Wars, you know what? You need to give them both a big fat raise of epic proportions for basically not embarrassing things. I mean, because in a way, that's what this is. Um, you know, on the flip side, you know, on the end, flip, flip, flip. Um, you know, doing the tentpole thing, as much as Star Wars made it look easy, as much as Kevin Feige made the Marvel Cinematic Universe made it look easy, the fact of the matter is it is not, which is probably me awarding to me to just shut the heck up and and probably the the as much as it's fun to poke 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 and go what is your dang problem yada 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 you know the fact of the matter is the, art is lightning in a bottle <clears throat> and, and this is that's what this is is that you're you're, you're commercial you're you're um you're monetizing art now granted you know art relatively speaking you know we're not talking about um you know salvador dali yada 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 but you know this is mass media mass market cost almost half a billion dollars to get made art um, so uh, this is a this is an ugly frightening ferocious animal um but on the other hand you know it's it's a you know, comic con actually is a great example of how these things get kind of quirky um when pacific rim was at comic con it blew up and now everyone went oh my god this is gonna be the next big thing and it turned into the all right thing um you know yeah it's getting a sequel and yeah they're diehard fans like me 
you who gush about it, but the fact of the matter is in the United States, yeah, outside the U.S., you know, um, Scott Pilgrim and you know Scott the Scott Pilgrim film that that Ed, Edgar Wright did years ago Comic Con woo everyone else went what the hell is this <laughs> and and let's be frank here um, if you're not a video game fan you're spending a lot of time going I don't get it grab a life I don't get it and everyone and geeks are going that's awesome that's brilliant that's funny um. So you you know it, it it's one of those things where the um in the end uh, 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 in the end <laughs> there there's a line from back from in the gladiatorial times in Rome you know you're the winning gladiator you know you're you're parading in the street in your chariot you know the crowds are screaming to you yeah baby woo they had a slave with you. Sitting, standing beside you, whispering in your ears, remember, thou art mortal. Remember, thou art mortal. Um, yes, you want to make a giant multi-billion dollar tentpole so you can be set for life the way Marvel is. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, so there you go. So two bits of news to, to have us go, wow. Um, so hey, um, y'all have a good morning and weekend. Keep enjoying, keep enjoying Comic Con news. Uh, I'll try and kind of add more stuff as we go along. Yada yada yada. No, I'm not going to be on this thing for 18 straight hours. Be kind of cool if I could do that, but unfortunately, I do work for a living. So, uh, such is life, right? <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. Force be with you. May the odds be forever in your favor. And as always, most importantly, guys, be good to each other, right? Peace. And probably see you later on today. Bye! Oh, and to all my peeps at Comic-Con, you'll have lots of fun, all right? Yay.